Hello friends and welcome back to another micro gaming and today we're gonna to be taking our lovely blender file model thing over here and we're gonna be placing it directly over here in unity and we're gonna do it really nash there are a few ways to do this but I'm just gonna do it the way I prefer to do it and then we'll go over the other way so let's go So we have our lovely Unity file open. It looks nice and empty. It's not very nice. It's empty. So what we're going to do is my favorite method. We're going to save this, close out, and we are hello. And we will simply take our file, yes, and we're actually going to physically put it inside of our project. And I'll just place it right here for now. Fascinating, revolutionary, even. Go back over here. It was going to load. It's going to be as fast as it's going to be and then in a few moments Voila our guy is in here, and then we can just put him somewhere in the scene so hello to him. And there you go. He is in the scene now the really cool thing about this particular method is if there's something you don't like about your model say I just don't like that his face is very smooth. I don't like it. Maybe I want to spike somewhere I can go back over here double click it open it up a second and there it is I, I am now editing and I can just go in here I'm gonna take this thing that save it save it I'm using a Mac there you go go back in and oh my god look at that it's, it's so beautiful I, it has saved everything and this is this is really really useful so like once again if you need to edit anything you can just pop in real fast edit something Voila. All your animations, if you have any on there, are also imported as well. I find this to be the quickest and easiest way to do it. The only problem is, everyone on your team, if you're working on a team, will need Blender installed on their computer, if they want to open it up. Alternatively, of course, you can do it kind of the old-fashioned way. So let's undo this. Save, because I can. And let's see, my, all my stuff is separate objects, so I'm going to hit A. I'm going to go over to File, and I'm going to export it as an FBX. And I'm just going to go ahead and select Selected Objects, so the only things that will be exported are my selected objects. And I'm just going to put it somewhere randomly for now. Export. Go back into Unity. And there he is again. Where is it? There you are, my FBX guy. Put him in, and look at that. He's also in here. I have two versions now. So nice. Now the problem with doing this, of course, is you can't just open it up and edit it. I find the Blender version to be a whole lot more useful in terms of flow. But you can pretty much do whatever you want. And that's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. This was a very, very small tutorial. I hope you found it very nice. All relevant links are down below if you want to visit any social medias or any of the extra stuff that's down there. And I hope that you have a fantastic day. Oh, goodbye.